according to cloud. Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Tonight we're going to be doing a gentle yoga class. So we're going to come lie down on your yoga mat. So make your way to come lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Coming into Shavasana before class. And then make your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Soften your face. Relax your bodies. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that you're holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Two more breaths. One more, we're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your leg left and right. Slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up above the head, full body stretch and then we're going to walk them hands and feet over to the right side as far as you can go forming a banana shape outside hand grab a hold of the inside wrist inside foot on outside ankle feel the length in the left side of your body Entire body is still on the mat. We have a roll over. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna walk the hands and feet over to the other side as far as you can go. Forming a banana shape. Outside hand, grab a hold of the inside wrist. Inside foot on the outside ankle. Feel the leg in the right side of your body. Stretch. One more breath, and we're slowly walking the hands and feet back to the center. And down by your side. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees. Knee to chest, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering your big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Helping you to relieve back pain. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instructions. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Drop both knees to the right side, let it fall wherever it falls. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Left arm, low shoulder height, palm facing down. Coming into a spinal twist. Turn a look at the left side, your neck is good. Hips automatically comes off. Feel free to straighten out both legs. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body is still on the mat. Turn a look at the left side if your neck is good. We you stay here for four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, this and exhale, rumble, knee to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Opposite hand, opposite thumb, right arm out, shoulder height. Palm facing down. Turn a little bit the right side if your neck is good. Stretching all the lower back muscles. 
massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back. Opening up hip joint. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, stretching our hamstrings, energize the body, increase your immunity, improve digestionistic quality. Taking a few more breaths here, just relax. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. When you're ready, we're going to lift the head chest up, reach for your toes, grab hold the big toes, hips automatically, comes off. So two steps up. One more breath, slowly, slowly release the head down and down by your side. And we're going to sit to the legs. Open up the legs and the back feet. One time in front, one time behind. Nice and slow with control. You don't have to go big and you don't have to go fast. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching out inner thighs. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Doing three rounds of leg lift. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Take a breath here. First round. Lower down for seven, six. Five, four, three, two, when your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees. Lengthen the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't drop it, bend both knees. Lengthen the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Last round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, bounce it a few times. Wind releasing on the right side. Wrap your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the right side, as well as ascending cord. We're going to stay here for a little bit longer. When you're ready, lifting the head chest up, head to knee. Lifting the left leg off the mat, squeeze. Mm -hmm. 
one more round and we slowly release the head and the straight leg and give it a shake and then we're going to repeat on the other side when releasing grab your hands around the left knee draw it close to the chest or armpit give it a good squeeze massaging organs on the left side as well as the ascending cord anytime you feel bloated and constipated you can try weight releasing and see if it is going to help you. Couple more breaths here. We're going to lift the head chest up, head to knee, and then bring the right leg up the mat, squeeze. Slowly release the head and the straight leg, and then we're going to bounce it a few times. Coming into the break pose, keep your knees bent. Your knees are two fists apart, don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. When you're ready, on the inhale, you lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Pull the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high up as we strengthen the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine especially if you have back pain. Now we come up on the tippy toes, so lifting the hips even higher up, all the weights in the shoulder, where we lower weights in the head and neck, chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. Inhale your arms up and all the fingernails on the floor. Keeping your hips high, high up, Four, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release the arm back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One more break at a time. Release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, raise your wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall where we're falling. Hip release. Now we're going to bring this all of our feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And then by your side, palm facing down, bound angle pose. Like gravity, this is job to open up the hip joint. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly draw the knees together. Coming into a figure four, right foot on left thigh, flexing the right foot to protect the right knee. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh, right elbow, push the right thigh out. When you're ready, you can straighten out the left leg, walking the hands higher up, and we're gonna pull the left leg close to your body. And you're going to immediately feel the stretch here, right hip flexor, opening up the right hip joint, helping people with sciatica condition. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to switch. Figure four on the other side. Opposite ankle, opposite thigh. Loop the head through the opening, grab behind the right thigh. Left elbow, push the left thigh out. Now beginners, you can stay here, draw the knee close to your body. If you would like to have more intensity, extend the right leg. Walk the hands higher up. Draw the entire leg close to your body. Now you're gonna feel the stretch in the left hip flexor, opening up the left hip joint. If this is too intensive for you, you can ease off, your choice. So every pose, you can modify, adapt, adjust to suit your needs. One more breath, 
slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to drop both knees to your right side, getting ready to come up. Low over to the right side of the body, making a pillow of the right tricep. So we're going to come lie down on our side for a moment. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. And if you need a little bit of cushioning, go ahead, set yourself up. And you can just lay your blanket or pillow down to support you. Just make yourself comfortable. Come to seated. Just gonna make some adjustment. Coming into a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to inhale the arms up above the head, turn the palm out, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale to lengthen, exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up, lengthen. We're going to come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist, chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, center the length of the spine. Exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. One more. Inhale, center. Turn long. Exhale to the other side. Release the long arm. Top arm is the crescent moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly, slowly come back up. Lengthen in the center. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is the crescent moon. Slowly, slowly come back up. We lengthen the center, exhale twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly turn, open up your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal arms, helping you to digest and detox. Now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other. Forming a crescent looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Wrap around your waist. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back. Turning the neck as well. One more breath here. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. Stretch out the neck next. Your to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide as the other hand. Lengthening. Stretch. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly, slowly come back to center the other side. You two shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide or support the head. Stretch. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. Inhale, center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center, chin on head back. And then chin to chest. Slowly come back to center. Turn and look at the right armpit. Slide it at the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Inhale, center. Exhale, look at the other armpit. 45 degree angle, slightly tuck the chin in. Stretch out a different part of your neck. 
in her center. And we're going to look up diagonal, corner of the ceiling, chin up, looking up. Slowly, slowly come back down. We're going to look at the other corner of the ceiling. Chin up, looking up. Slowly, slowly come back. Shoulders stretch, right arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it up, the other side, arm up and across. Pull back. Shoulder stretch first. Chin is away from the body, eyes open forward. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out. Tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Chin is away from the body, eyes open forward. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulders, opposite, outside. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pain in shoulder blades, opening up the heart chest. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together, oiling the shoulder joints. Go the other way, reverse. Slowly come back to center to release. Shake it up. Come into torso turn. Starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. And reverse, touching our four corner of your space. Feel free to move your shoulders, warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we're going to stop. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale back down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relaxed, forehead down. Lengthening the spine. Slowly, slowly turn back up. Coming into a neutral tabletop. So take your time to set up. For those who have knee issues, feel free to use your blanket or towel underneath your knee for support. Neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale, drop to your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times at your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Two more times. One last one. Take an inhale, center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder, drop the hip. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Form a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. 
Sway side to side. Coming into our bones, right arm and left leg up. Right thumb to the sky, back to the stand, core strong. Squeeze your abs in tight. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly, really swing side to side. Repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg up, left thumb to the sky, back to the stand, reach and stretch, core is strong. Staying here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly, release. Swing side to side. We're gonna front the needle next. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be up in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now you can stay here. If you like to put more weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg on your toes or off the mat. Both hips are level. Regular weight in the head of it. And we're gonna stay here for three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrap around your waist. Beginner, you can stay here. Those who wish to put more body weight on, so we extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Swing side to side. Now we're get ready to come up. So we can dance off. I'm just going to adjust the light because I feel that the light is very unstable. So I'm going to turn off the light. Yeah, the light is making some really weird sound. Like it sounds like it's gonna blow up. So now we're in standing, legs are hip width apart. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index finger, grow tall, and go to the right side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Lengthening, stretch. Inhale center. Tall, long, exhale to the other side. Coming into a crescent. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Inhale, center, tall, long, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is the crescent. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly come back up. Lengthening the center. Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is the crescent. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. And then by your side. Shake it up. A few round shoulder roll. Go the other way. Getting ready for a forward bend. So legs are hip width apart. All 10 toes facing the front. Hands on waist for support. Take an inhale for a six out hinge, leaning with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Head bones above the ankle. Now your stomach rests on your thighs. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our hamstrings. Energize the body. Forward bend is good one to do. Help you to relieve back pain. We're going to take an inhale to your flat back. Exhale and go back down and see if you can bend a little bit more. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows. 
head pokes above ankles. One more breath. We're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to your front back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your bone pressure get adjusted. Up the forward bend, support of back bend. Place your hand on your lower back. Pinky is touching. Squeeze the shoulder blade together. Then think chin up and up. Not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and half up. Opening up lung, heart, chest, possibly. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Get it ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, take toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. <laughs> Inhale halfway up to flat line. Exhale, hands on back, stepping back into a plane. Shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tap your elbow by your side and down. Inhale, cobra or up top. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes looking up. Exhale. You're going to fall back on the knees. Tap your toes. Lift the hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We stay here for high breath. Spread all your fingers. Middle or index finger facing forward. Separate your feet. Two fists apart. Not too wide, not too narrow. Lifting the hips high, high up. Eyes are located at your toes. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat up. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then up down by the side. Into mountain pose. Continue. Inhale, your arms up. Other salute. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to your flat back, hands on shin. Exhale, hands on mat. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward, lower down. Uh, we'll tuck by your side. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time to set up, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Come into low lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Square the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding onto your bar. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down from the knees. Eyes looking up. Place the palm together. Release index finger. Inhale for length. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Looking up. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Opposite elbow. Opposite thigh. Bring your hands to half center. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat. Come into hamstring stretch. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up, lengthening. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. 
holding on to any part of the legs of the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale the length. Exhale, start to come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. If you have a very tight hamstring, slightly bend the right knee. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Coming into a seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the string. Opposite arm, opposite. Draw it close to the body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder. Looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. If you like, front arm can be stop sign here. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking over the shoulder. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, kind of twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of your body. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, pushing yourself back up. Straighten up the legs. Arms in a few times. And we're gonna repeat. Low lunge on the other side. So take your time to set up. Right knee down, left leg forward. Front knee is 90 degree and toggle ankle between second and third toe. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up. Holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curving, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Place the palm together, release index finger, inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Opposite elbow, opposite thumb. Bring your hands to heart center. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. All twisting position help you to relieve back pain. Also, massage internal organs. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on that. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Come sit down. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up to lengthen. Exhale, head forward, holding on to any part of the length for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale the lengthen. Exhale to fold. Body start right down to the straight leg. Slightly bend the left knee if needed, if you have tight hamstrings. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a seated twist. Bring the bend leg on the outside of the straight leg. Beginner, you can stay here. Those who can bend the arm leg, go ahead. Full blood stand, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look in the back, turning the leg as well. Front arm can be stop sign here. Pray your hands. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. 
look at that. Turning the next one. One more run. Slowly, slowly. Bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. One more breath, slowly, slowly, pushing yourself back up. And now we're gonna to come to a comfortable seated position. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Flight like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you. Grab a hold of the big toe on the entire feet. Inhale the length. Exhale hinge. Leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Inhale the length. Exhale. Stomach come down a little bit more. Back is long. Spine straight. Chin is away from the body. With every exhale breath. Try to bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly come back up. I'm gonna wish your wife her. Knees are hip up apart, hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hips can come up. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Now we're going to open up and drop both feet to the right side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Now, whatever you do, don't lean back too much. Make sure the butt stay down. This is a 1990. You can adjust the angle to suit your knees. The stretch is here. Watch your side hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. One more breath, and we're gonna come back to the center. Wish your wiper a few more times. Let it fall wherever it falls. And we're gonna open up and drop both knees to the other side. So once again, let it fall wherever it falls, and look at the opposite side. Probably 99 degree, make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here, but just up your joints. Looking at the opposite side. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, pass it a few times. Get the flesh part out from your butt. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Hands by your side. Sitting up nice and tall. Now we're gonna do both wrist and ankle exercise together. So forward, backwards, point, and flex. Strengthening the wrist and ankle joint. Increase flexibility, mobility, reduce swelling in your joint. Also pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation. And in this case, we're also stretching our hamstrings. Side to side. Circle. Mm -hmm. 
Go the other way. Reverse the circle. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hands you from the hips, leaning from the chest. Pressing your hands will be beyond your feet. Holding on to any part of the feet, legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine straight. Wherever you inhale, right to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up. Come into one leg forward then, my left is your right, point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to length. Exhale, hand forward, grow longer. Holding on to end of the foot, the legs, so release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale the leg. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Then the chest. That's the last thing. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to rock the baby. We're going to pick up the bandit, fit it into the elbow crease. Draw it close to the chest, rocking side to side. So you can hold on with both arms or one arm, your choice. Be mindful for those who have knee issues, you should feel the stretch here, hip flexor. Back circle one way for five. And reverse. Draw it close to your body. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to repeat on the other side. One leg forward bend. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. Grow longer. Body's on top of the straight leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we'll rock the baby on the other side. Fit into your elbow crease. Draw it close to you. Rock your side to side. Be mindful. For those who have knee issues, the stretch is here. Your flex. Big circle one way. Go the other way. Slowly come back to center. Lifting it up. Pray hands on the outside. Draw the legs close to your body. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Using your hands, a cup in hands, and we're going to tap the legs up and down. Energize the body. Keep your blood circulating.
Switching side, go and tap the other leg. Cupping hips, energize the body. Keep the blood circling. Slowly, slowly release. If you like, it can see cross legged. We're going to go across the arm on one side to the other side. Now begin. Simulating meridian points, add a bunch of points. And this is the last round, so we're going to go back to where we start, and we're going to try to come up, so we're going to go on inside. So cupping hands, make sure you're not slapping yourself or hitting yourself. We just want to energize the body, stimulating the meridian points at the point of points. Slowly come back to where you start, relax the body. We're going to cut the eye of the elbow, cupping hands, relax the body, relax the arm that is being cut. And then the other eye of the elbow, cupping hands. Don't hit yourself too hard. And then we go on it, lymphatic drainage. Go to the other side, the other armpit, lymphatic drainage. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. And then we're going to rock the knees. If you like, you bend the knees. And we're going to go circular motion. Bringing warm to your knee area. Especially those who have knee issues. And go the other way. Up and down. into the hollow, give it a good squeeze. But there's no muscle in the knee, just ligament and tendon. So we have to strengthen, good quadricep, the big muscles to support knee. And slowly, slowly release. Neck and shoulder, coming hands again. When you get to the neck part, be gentle. Do not injure the soft tissue in your neck. Do it yourself, massage. Release any tension that you may have in your neck and shoulder. And we're going to switch side, neck and shoulder. So at home, in your own practice, of course, you can stay for longer and do a few more repetition. Slowly, slowly release, back of your neck. Now you can do one hand on both hands. Get into the hollow of your neck, below your skull, above the neck. And using your fingertips to tap over your skull. Forward, backward, side to side. Once again, stimulating acupuncture point. And we're going to tuck the ear on the outside, give it a light, gentle pinch. on the outside of your ears and 
give it a gentle tuck. Make sure you don't pull on your earrings to make the holes any bigger. Slowly, slowly release. Do a little bit of facial yoga. Forehead. Using an outward motion. Smooth it out. Four finger up and down your nose, up to your front line. Circular motion using the weakest finger, which is the fourth finger. Go around your eyes. Very, very gentle touch. Change direction, go the other way, around your eyes. The puppet line, now we're going to smooth it out, outward motion. Using two fingers above your eyebrow, bony structure, very gentle tapping. Below the eyebrow, above the eye, make sure you don't poke into your eyeballs. Below the nose, above the lip, bony structure. Below the lip, above the chin. Slowly, slowly release. Doing five line breath, where we open the mouth as big as we can and stick the tongue out. Ah, um, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Close your mouth, use your tongue to go around on, on the inside of your mouth. So stick your tongue to the cheek. Go around. Using your tongue. Five times one way, five times the other. Generating saliva. Change direction, go the other way, use your tongue to go around the inside of your mouth five times. When you're done, slowly, slowly release. Doing some shoulder roll, alternating, one up, one down. Go the other way. Make your fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale. One last one. Inhale, shoulders up. Lots and lots of tension. Exhale, let it go. So big, big hug. Love yourself. Wrap your arms around you. Finger on your shoulder blade. Feel the tightness in your shoulder blade. And then we'll go into the eagle arm. Lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. Lift the arms up and away from the body. Form an L shape. Slide back bend if you can. Slowly, slowly release. Big, big hug on the other side. So the other arm on top. Wrap your arms around you. Fingers on your shoulder blade. If you can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of thumb. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming the L shape. Slide back, bend if you can. Slowly, slowly release. Inhale the arms up, lengthening, palm touch. Release the index finger. Drop the hands to the back of your head. Chin up, looking forward.
Rocking the elbows side to side. Slowly come back to center. Interlace the fingers, gently place it behind your head, pull forward. Release tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly release. So we've come to the end of the class. Bring your hands to our center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste. Thank you.